Welcome to our channel Circuits Analytica. In this video, we will be discussing about thermal runaway in bipolar junction transistors. A bipolar junction transistor must be in active region to operate as an amplifier. To keep a BJT in active region, its base emitter junction must be forward biased and its collector base junction must be reverse biased. Different types of biasing circuits are used to bias a transistor. The DC load line of a bipolar junction transistor is the plot between minimum and maximum values of VCE and IC. For the proper functioning of the transistor amplifier, the operating point of a transistor must be fixed on the center of the DC load line and the operating point must be stable. During the DC analysis of each of the biasing circuits, we have to find the values of VCEQ and ICQ. So to find ICQ, we must find IBQ as ICQ is equal to beta times IBQ. Expression for collector current of a transistor. For a transistor, collector current IC is given as IC is equal to beta IB plus 1 plus beta into ICBO where IB is the base current, beta is the common emitter current gain of the transistor and ICBO is the leakage current which flows through the collector of the transistor. So collector current depends upon the three parameters or three terms beta, leakage current ICBO and base emitter junction voltage VBE. From the previous expression we can say that any variation in leakage current will reflect in the collector current IC as a factor of 1 plus beta. And for any transistor, reverse saturation current or leakage current ICBO doubles for every 10 degree rise in temperature. Now let us discuss thermal runaway. For a transistor, collector current IC is given as IC is equal to beta IB plus 1 plus beta into ICBO where beta is the common emitter current gain, IB is the base current and ICBO is the leakage current or reverse saturation current which is temperature dependent. So when temperature rises, ICBO rises. When ICBO increases, that reflects in collector current. So collector current IC also rises. When collector current IC rises, that results in the further increment in temperature. And this is a cumulative cyclic process. So change in leakage current will increase the collector current which ultimately results in rise in temperature and this cumulative process leads to the self-destruction of the transistor. And this phenomena is called as thermal runaway. So how can we avoid thermal runaway? How can we stabilize the collector current? We can overcome thermal runaway by using very good biasing circuits. By using biasing circuits with very good stability. So usage of biasing circuits with very good stability ensures that the collector current IC is constant and it is fixed on the center of the DC load line. Thanks for watching Circuits Analytica. Enjoy learning.